<laughs> I don't really like this much, not gonna lie. <sighs> well, um, that's fun that Twitch decided to not work this morning. I apologize to everybody. I did not know I was doing them. Uh, it seems like the entire Twitch platform has, has broken. So, yeah, entire Twitch went down. And, uh, I apologize for that. That was, um, oh, it's not that great. So what I'm working on here is I'm working on the basis of the first shape for what I want to do. And that is simply, oh, I want to turn this down. I don't want to have uh, the looping on. It's also really early for me. I'm not usually up this early. So I, sound, I probably sound like crap. Um. But I want to get want to get this shape, and hopefully, if I've done this right, I spent an hour getting this shape. So I'm really hoping this shape works. One second. So, um, yeah, I should be able to just tile this wherever I want. Yeah, that's looking really good. Hello, Gunsai. All right, that's looking good. That is actually like really, really good. I actually want these double lines. They're not an unintended feature. They're actually there for a reason. Um, the, di the di diagonals look weird without that one block gap and then I wanted these to be a little less thick. Also, I don't want to have to refigure out the shape to fix that. So, you know, being a little lazy on that. Um, but, so for, since everybody couldn't watch me on Twitch, um, I'm going to re-explain what I'm doing here. So, I, I keep watching the movie Geostorm, and I love the little, um, well, not the little, but the global um, coverage system they have there. And it protects them from all the inclement weather that can that can destroy people's lives and kill people. So they have basically averted complete weather disasters that, you know, should should happen. You know, things that should be a thing. They, they help uh, shape the landscape of the world. Um, so I want to build this sky net that they had over most of my base. And I want to see where I can take this because I feel like this is going to be a little bit more fun to build than... Um, I think it's this way. Actually, I have no idea which way it is. Yeah, it's this way. 
like really far. Oh, YouTube's actually being like really nice and smooth. But yeah, this is. What is my video settings on? 24. Why am I seeing so little of this? PPS is fine. What is, why is it doing this? This is so weird. Her render distance of 25. Why is this not loading at all? Hey Jay, if you're watching, can you restart the creative server? Yeah, even the content creators are saying Twitch is down. Yep, so, um, I don't know why this is weird. Anyway, this is going to be a little easier to build than that, I'm hoping. I don't know why this is loading so weirdly. Look, it's not my internet. We've got 58 ping, so that's not it. What do you mean, Jay? I don't know what's going on. No, thank you. to five one of our servers caused lag okay see that's better um
So that's looking better. I'm connected. Nope. Um. And we can't change it. Now this is a GG server deal. I'm not playing this kind of game. Oh, you restarted it a few times? Okay, hopefully this is the last time I get kicked from that. Alright, I'm glad I was done doing this though, so... Uh, yeah, this is... I will drop an image of what I'm talking about. Let's see if there's a... This isn't really easy. So I need to put this, I'm gonna put this in the self-promotion real quick. Um, give me just a second to drop this over to here. So my goal is to make this. So I sent that message there that is for, that is what I'm looking at to make out of this. I don't understand how no, like this thing gets like one person for maybe two hours a day. How can this server cause lag? And, and why would a server company change your settings? for you rather than emailing you about the problem and having you fix it you know not everybody buying a minecraft server is 13 years old you know you can talk to us like human beings and then if we don't respond to you and if we don't know what you're talking about you can do what you want but don't step on our toes we're paying you you're not paying us so don't change your shit like just don't do it Anyway, okay, we're done. All, we're done with that topic for now. Um, so, okay, so now that we've got our hexagons and our shape, I want to take this. I want to take this up into the air a bit and get this at about Y two fifty. Yeah, well, I was explaining why all my pastes were weird. I mean, that explains so much about the problems I was experiencing. You know, uh, it's actually one of the cleanest attacks I've had on that. That's nice. Hello. All right, anyway, um, we could grab this. I want to leave plenty of space in between each one of these because uh, I feel like I might be able to do something with every couple of them. Hmm. 
every hundred or so in the grid, so to speak. But yeah, let's get this. Uh, let's actually save this. Seven hex. Sky grid. Put this under build. Now we can put this into prototypes. Okay, and then how goes it, Menace? Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's already so good. Oop, I froze. Oop. <laughs> um. Hmm, I took out my frame rates. It seems like it'd be something a little bit more than just five, you know. Our render distance hasn't got anything to do with that. If it's causing lag, there's two reasons. A tick warp, which shouldn't cause lag, it should just use all the available resources, which is which is loud, by the way. Just just stating that that it is allowed to change that. Oh my goodness, this actually is so I'm kind of admiring this a little bit because this is super promising at this point. There's a random one concrete in here. I'm going to go update that save file. Okay, well, we've got that fixed now. So... Uh, that would be Tweakaroo. Potion warning, uh, beneficial only. So, good potions market, and then you can Put it in toggles, potion warning is true, and remove. Yeah, so. Those two settings are tweak toggles. Yeah, the idea with this design, uh, Gumzai, is to cover most of my base with this. As I want it to be a simple build, but not simple. So I have a couple of ideas I want to start with. And we can start with, I think, Blackstone. No, I'll go Polished Stairs. I'm going to go with Sea Lanterns. And then I want to go um, Slam. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... If I can't get one of these to work, the other one can. I'm always doing something crazy, though. I have no idea how I actually want this to work out. Like, legitimately, I have no idea. Okay, why is carbon no clip on? I turned that off. I don't really need this to be like that. It might be set to the default setting, which is cool. Um, and then... 
this up. Paste that in. Ooh, that was smooth. Boom. Uh, Tweakaroo is basically a cheating mod. It can do anything. Tweakaroo is meant to modify all the small things that Karka doesn't. It's meant to give people all the access they need to do just about anything with. So you can do just about anything with Tweakaroo alone. It's a little flashy, yikes. Alright, so that's the first part done. The real question is do I want to do it through here like this? Or do I want to wrap it? Actually, the wrapping looks pretty good. So let's just. My mouse is like dying or something. I can't right click it worth a darn. It's not double clicking most of the time. <laughs> and now I'm not going to do every little module individually I'm just going to get the start of it done I'm using Blackstone because Blackstone is very renewable and I have so much of it and I know Jadecraft has so much of it right now that this is like a very cheap material to have. On top of, I think I get like 10 boxes of this out of a box of old. So I can AFK for like a couple hours and have so much of that just there. What does it look like from down here? I like it the way that's starting to look. Um, I don't think so. They actually nerfed, oh my goodness, the amount of times they nerfed piglin bartering when they realized how efficiently people can farm gold. 
uh, would they go through six six changes during the snapshots? Six complete, like two or three complete overhauls, and uh, six or three three of them being complete changes in what they have, and three being uh, reductions. Um, I think before their final stage, everything was worth the value of two, like almost double for most of the things, and they change it all. Jay, you probably want to change your skin. But no, the uh, pigment bartering, it just makes it easy to get a few of the materials I like. I can AFK gold, and then AFK my bartering hall, and then boom, I've got everything I could dream of. I don't know what's going on with the mouse, but it's getting really annoying. That's one hexagon done. Let's see how it looks down from below. This is about the height you'd see it from. Yeah, imagine that sprawled across the sky. Yeah, um, I've been, I've seen I'm not 100% sure. I've done a lot of modding in the 164, so I believe I've been around since 152, but I don't officially know my starting version. The most relevant version, I think, was I joined in 17. Like, I, I think I've been playing since 152, but I'm not actually, like, didn't get behind the wheels, like, taking off and doing bigger things in it until 172. 10, 1, 8, something like that. So my first real witness was the combat update, I think. And I loved it. Man, I just can't stop looking at it. It looks really, really good. What do you guys think of that? I'm not gonna lot. All right, I want to replace all of this with sea lanterns, or should I? Hmm. I, pro I probably want to, but my reference image. Hmm.
the largest project I've ever undertaken. Um, oh, in one nine, I decided to dig a 300 by 300 hole into a survival server. Um, I found four, four, 14 cave spider spawners. And two of them being uh, quads. One of them I set up for a farm. The other ones I got rid of. Uh, so I had uh, a quadruple poison spider spawner farm, which was the first time I've ever made a quad spider spawner. Um, I did not finish the build for it, but I did get like 90% done with the dig. But as for my largest project I've undertaken and completed... Um, I'd have to say my gold farm. I mean, Jcraft has really pushed me to do things I've not usually completed before, and getting 80,000 obsidian and placing it, and lighting it, and portal syncing it, setting up collection. It was a couple weeks build, and it was a lot of it was a lot of patience when it came to that because I had to deal with uh, the update, which broke it, and then we had to resync some of the portals. Um, but yeah, I think the gold farm would have to be my biggest. Yeah, so uh, the server I was playing on. Um, three, four years ago, uh, back like 2016, um, they did not allow world eaters, and, and one nine world eaters weren't really even a thing. So back in one nine, it was it was hand digging mostly everything. Um, they didn't allow TNT uh, because somebody would take it and use it to grief or whatnot. So it was a very protected server um, for like nine year olds. So it was a server not meant for me. And I have since not played on that server in two years. They also deleted most of my stuff, either by request or by um, redaction of, of like inactivity. So most of my stuff on there is gone. I've given most of my stuff away too. I think I had like two shulker boxes of redstone blocks without a witch farm in any way. Like from actually digging out those blocks. Um, but yeah, the gold farm on Jcraft has to be my biggest commitment. Um, other than the current kelp farm, but I haven't finished it. So I don't want to count that until I finished it. But the kelp farm definitely is a lot bigger. It's the biggest dig. I've went through, I want to say at least 30 pickaxes in that. Um, at least 30. I went through at least a shulker box, if not more. I want to say I went through 36 pickaxes on that. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of mulling over what I want to do here. Um, I have a lot of choices. Um, I could do... I was actually wanting to do, um, this to give it shape. I don't know why it does that. Kelp farm's got to be my biggest thing to date, though. I don't think I've done a perimeter. I'm actually scared to do a perimeter. Like, I just... I don't want to. And I, I find digging to be more respectable in, in the terms. Put this at midnight. Ooh, that's menacing.
But yeah, um, the kelp farm is my most serious dig. It's a 200 by 200, but it was mostly ocean, which means it was already, for starters, lower in the world. Um, and then second, it would have been... I didn't dig it to the bedrock, and the other design I did dig to bedrock. Um, I got... I don't remember. I don't even think I got that far into the dig, but I placed over a quarter million blocks into the design before I lost interest. I think I spent nine months on it or something, and I had lots of people helping me, so it, the progress was like really significant, but the design was uh, for a giant mob arena, and it failed. I was like super hooked into mob arenas and stuff at the time, and I just, it didn't work out at all. It was, it was really funny, but it was... I'm going to uh, do that. Is a two fifty one. From white concrete to glowstone. Um, I can only do fill on, so if you do fill as a command, it's going to ask for this, and you could use the replace key to do it that way, but you have to enter more coordinates. With world edit, it's just whack, whack command, you know, and then once you set the command in, unlike vanilla, once you've set the command in to the axe, you don't, or once you've caught your command on, on a clipboard, you don't have to worry about changing the coordinates. So, you know, once I've, once I've set it, it's, it's done. It's a lot faster than vanilla. It's not better than vanilla, but it, it is faster. Vanilla is more specific. So I, I also have a limit with world edit. I don't have a limit on the size of this. And with world edit, I can, I can do whatever I want. With vanilla, it's like 32, 36,000 or something. You, you've got like a huge limit to it. But this is just a little easier. Whereas I can just do that. You'd be surprised during the 113 era of Minecraft, I spent a lot of time learning commands and command blocks and all that. I've actually spent a lot of time trying to get behind the game a little bit because I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, just learn learn more behind it. I wanted to get a lot more knowledge and I created like a world map and everything um, with tags and stuff. Like I was trying to create even like a, um, a map. I was trying to do the map building, map making, whatever that's called. Um, 113 I tried to do all that but they kept changing they keep changing commands so so often and they keep adding new things and stuff like that that it just got a little overwhelming learning all the things I could do as well as the inexperience I had I didn't know oh my goodness things you can do with world edit or, or uh, with vanilla commands was insane I don't know why that message was retracted It's weird. Yeah, it's like 32 something or 36,000 or something or 38. It's less than 40k, but I'm more than 30. It's like 32 something. You said it was uh, 
one, two, eight times two, five, six. Thirty-two, seven, sixty-eight. Yeah, that's what that is. Seems like it would be. My mouse is being a pain in the behind right now. It just likes holding click for some stupid reason. That should be all the glass done. How does the evil honeycomb look? Menacing. All right. Okay, that's looking really good. I like the way that feels. It's black and red. Very sinister. And the globing into the next honeycomb grid is kind of neat, too. But I also like the way that looks. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I need to go any more simpler than that. You know, that's not too complicated. It's not too simple. It's probably not that much glass. You know, I have this weird fascination with glass lately, but um, yeah, this looks pretty obtainable, if I had to guess. Yeah, I like the way this feels. Now I just got to uh, modify this to all of those. Oh wow, this doesn't uh, have any of the other blocks in it. That is so neat. Isn't that neat how hexagons can interact with each other without like, even intending it? They just kind of fit together. 
Okay, so this should splice between the glowstone layer. Yes, it does. Okay, so... I'm gonna try and see if I can load this in on a one wide so let's see if I can shave off to be all okay, what is going on here I saved the glass That looks better. Mm, I don't think it's gonna look better. That's actually looking really good. Let's check that out. The thing about a hexagon is that um, really it's not even, oh wow. Um, it's not really that, it's the... Hexagons are just difficult because they don't have four sides that are straight. They have four crooked sides, which makes them a little bit more difficult to build and a little bit less fun to build. So this being that is is part of it yeah this is looking really good this is looking promising all right we've got to get more details put on each one now so i have to figure out like an inner side to this So, the idea with this is that there can be a train car either like maybe below it. There's not really much room to work above it. So let's grab some slabs. And let's go polished uh, stair. Go with the actual brick stairs. Um, and let's just see what I can do for like um, a space cable car, if you will. So I'm thinking of something like this. Where it looks like it's connected. And then we could probably. Oh boy. How do I give this some um, connection? Probably we'll put a wall here. I'm just working with Blackstone because I love the theme. Um, walk 
gear. It's not a super bad start right there. The stairs make this a little hard to deal with, but that stair actually matters to me. Remove that there. Move that to there. Um, the connecting right here is difficult to say the least. I don't know how I want this to connect. And just that seems weird. Um, okay, what if I move this over block? Give that an extra block there. Give this an extra block. Give that an extra block. And then I could have... Okay, cool. I like that. And then I can use an iron block to give this a beam across here, oh, I'm liking where this is going. Yeah, and the iron blocks are going to be used as iron blocks, like, we've got plenty of them here. <laughs> okay, get rid of that. I like where this is going. That little beam deal right there seems realistic to say the least. Uh, okay, so then you could have the same thing on this side. Get Um, I just want the most of the, the majority of this to be dark blocks. I don't want to nether theme it. I can heavily have a nice nether theme to this. So it's just, it's going to be in space. You know, dark seems to be the way to go, but I want to have some brightness to it as well. Um, the nether theme, even though, again, even though I'm really good at the nether theme, I feel like that's a really bad crux to kind of put myself on the spot for. I will end up failing the design and making it too... The idea isn't to make this look hellish, the idea is to make this look sci-fi-ish, in a way, where it makes sense. Okay, and I could probably then have another one of these, one, two, three, four, about right here. If I go too far on the uh, hellish theme, I'll never, uh, I'll never kind of recover from it, because I will, I will go full ham on that. I, I actually like it. Um, I could probably twist that once I've got a good shape going, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to kind of step on my own toes, if you will, until I get a design down that I like, and then maybe I could consider, you know, doing other things. But for right now, I want to make this as simple. Okay, that, that's airtight, technically speaking. I'll skip the fact that this is mostly made out of stairs and non 
wall-based material, um, and you know, a door would fit here just fine. Maybe even better. Yeah, there's actually a way to get in here naturally without, you know, accidents do happen. <laughs> accidents do happen. Look at that. In and out. Both possible. Hey, Carm, what's going on, man? I think, that, I think that's, like, I don't think you could ask for more when it comes to a train car in on, on a space weapon, you know? Like, that is so simple. It's not overbuilt. You know, it just seems like that fits. But I want to kind of thread this through here a little bit. Yeah, I like the way that fits a little bit better. Yeah. I could get this. And then I could go to smooth. Here we go. Hmm, this don't fit. But that's okay. That looks good. That's a nice little train car that goes in there. Personal stuff can be stored here. Yep, that seems... I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Carmen. I think this is, uh... This is a good start. Ooh, that iron. That iron actually really complements that red and that black. Like that actually really fit there. I'm trying to see what else I could do. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to start copying this quite yet. As it's going to be a little difficult. As this is a smaller hexagon than what I made. And the hexagon I made isn't exactly perfect, so I'd have to figure that out. And you know, yay, counting kind of thing. Hmm. My only other option would be to create a tubed hexagon, and I think that's even more complicated than that. Welcome back, Gumsay. Welcome back, some guy. <laughs> um, I'm thinking right now, I don't really know what to do. Because I've got to, now I've got to create a smaller 48, 47 hexagon. Really speaking, I don't have to do that if I, if I, uh, that could be my first point. And how far away is that from the glowstone? It's two blocks away from the glowstone. I should be able to just bop, bop. Don't feel me now, world edit. No. What? Ah, this is not There we go. 
that wasn't too bad. Once you got the general shape going. Um, now I just need to do that over here. Okay, so the point of reference for here is the last block before the stairs. Okay, perfect. One, two. There we go, that's bad. That looks really good. The cable car here is actually kind of cute. <laughs> um, no, not really. I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy the differences. No, it's just I, I'm realizing like the name and I realize what you did with it. More of a respect thing, I think. What is going on with this? Why is it spamming my streams like? Yeah, that's true. It's a play on words, so you can change the first letter of it, and that's what he's doing, is he's changing the first letter of both names, so it's some guy, so it would be some guy, and what you do is it's gum sai. That's how you do it, you just change the first letter, so. You can create some very interesting uh, like names and stuff like that doing that. So this looks, I mean, this is kind of comfy. I mean, this is not really posh, but you know, it's it's nice. Having this much room in a little cable car. I mean, this is still kind of cramped, I'm not gonna lie, but anything bigger than that might actually be a little weird. Let me see how this iron looks now. Okay, that is looking really, really good. I really like the way that iron feels. What if I could just copy the iron blocks? I mean, I should be able to, right? YouTube's saying I've got a good connection. I do get internet spikes, but I've been realizing more often than not, they're actually on Twitch's side, which is kind of a nuisance, but not that bad. But yeah, anybody, if you want to see what I'm working on, um, you should check out the uh, Geostorm and just look at some of the clips of them controlling weather and stuff. Um, I'm only... Focusing to build the grid. 
I'm not focusing on building the weaponry and the anything like that or the satellite redocking. I just saw this hexagonal design. I'm just like, you know what? That could be, that'd be really nice. Just imagine this over my base. Imagine an entire grid as far as I could see. And that is... That is kind of what I'm going for. So, um... Do I want to hang this from a railing? Because I could actually have a cable car right here. Or a space cable car, I guess. That's kind of the idea here. Hmm, what can I consider here? Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna make some decisions. Like, I haven't really planned out as far as where I wanna go with this, much more than I just wanna make this. You know, I think uh, for now, I could just. Let's just paste a bunch of these in as far as the eye can see. And just kind of see what happens. Ooh, please tell me I didn't miss the glass on that. No, okay. This isn't going to be that bad of a build until I get to the stairs of this. So at some point I might actually consider making them into slabs. Because, I mean, stairs can be really painful to place. So is that, that everything selected? So how about, so I want to paste this. I probably want to just get this one overlaid and that one. Jeez.
going to take a little bit longer to pace, but it won't be so uh, bad on the primaries. Oh, no. No, that was, uh, that was actually, um, that was actually, uh, Light Matica. So, this is the Light Matica menu. I went into the configurations of Light Matica, and what I changed was the paste command interval for when I set something on the ground, as well as limiting it to as half as what it was. Sure, it wasn't so bad on my frame rates. It actually completely froze me when I tried to paste 128 of these same commands instantaneously, so... Hello, Shady. What's up? Um, I actually, I wonder if, I mean, because we have flipping Cactus enabled, I wonder if I could just... Cactus it, per se. Ooh. I can flip the cactus it, but it's not... Not exact... Oh, yeah, it does work, so I can hang on. So, now it's like that. And now it's backwards. Yeah, I can do it with cactus. <laughs> Ideally, it shouldn't be too hard with all the glowstone I've got to place first, so that would be would be the idea here. Mm, I need to get a couple back here as well. Oh, I see where that is. Um, let's get a full 360 on that. So I should see one foot right over here. That should be where I should be able to paste the next part of that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Carilla. Probably butchered the pronunciation on that, though. Done. So now I need a third one over here. Again, I should just be able to paste this right atop this. Yep. This is becoming very grid like, even with hexagons. I mean, one, skip one, skip one, skip one, skip one, you know, white, 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 right there. Kind of like, boom, 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 and there's a space between each one of those. That's kind of weird, but it's kind of working out the way I wanted it to. Hey, Legamba, what's going on? Good to see you. Yep, yeah, I just, I think this is starting to look really good. This is getting to a point where I'm kind of happy with where it's going. And right now it's like super simple and it's not overly overly complicated. I think that's kind of nice about this. You know, this is this is decently expensive. Uh, the iron blocks is probably going to be the only problem with this build. Uh, we have so much glowstone from the raid farm. We have, I mean, I have oodles, uh, like multiple double chests, and I know Jay has multiple double chests of blackstone shulker boxes. And then I think the red glass is minimal compared to most of my designs, so. 
it's not too expensive yet. <laughs> Might get there with the expense, but uh, building on this scale is going to be expensive no matter how I look at that. So that white one should fit right here. Nice. Lines up perfectly, I think it's good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Three more need to be pasted over here, I think. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the idea of the beehive, but on top of that, I mean, we're going to drop down here to the original one. I mean, this is... I'll wait until it's done pasting, and then I'll turn it off. You can kind of just see it printing pieces out here. Well, there's another side right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this is going way better than I expected it to on the plans. Wow. Okay, I need to mark the original, which should be right up here. So this is the schematic over here. This is the one I'm pasting, so I need to go north or... Uh, yeah, north. Oddly enough, this is actually north. I need to go north of this. That looks good. No, this is pure decoration. I want to get better at building, so I'm looking into making simple decorations and stuff for my base. So this is going to be above my base, so we're at Y300 right now, so this is Y2, uh, 252, uh, 253, and this is going to be at the world height of above my base. Um, I have a lot of plans to make my base as weird as possible, but while... I want to make this um, kind of encompass render distance of anywhere near my base. So, you know, this is going over the kelp farm, my main base, and anywhere else I plan to expand to. This is something I want to put over it to where this is all you see above it. Um, for function, I don't think I really have anything planned for, like, legitimate function. Um, I could probably put in, like, small farms or something in here somewhere. More or less, this is just to get the idea out of my head. Um, I had this idea for a couple of days now, and I kind of just kept sitting on it and stewing on it, and I didn't want to didn't want to forget the idea I had here. It's pretty neat coming together. I mean, I like where it's going completely. <laughs> uh, simple as in defined that I'm not using world edit to generate tori around uh, tori around glass tour eyes around nothing so this this is simple on the aspect on top of this i kind of want to start wasting materials from jcraft like we have so many things just kind of stagnating around uh we don't have a use for many of the drops that come from a lot of our farms and i want to kind of change that a little bit because i want to make some of them you know more more useful than not so, I mean, all this glowstone, I don't think Jay is going to care that I take all of this glowstone off of his hands because he's just never going to use it. I mean, we have so much glowstone right now, we could make health potions for 10 years off of it. You know, like we can make so many potions off of it. And I have to admit, this is simple. Like, this is a few stairs and a few other blocks. I mean, the only thing that's, that's not simple about this is the iron blocks that are being put into it. But I'm discerning this as simple to find as 
not insane. Uh, the things I do are typically much more insane than this, so kind of got to weigh those out a little bit. I think one more paste is all I need. I also made this mostly like 99% air, so that it is, it is still categorizable as simple. Um, I mean, still, I guess that's kind of really up to you guys to decide if I'm being simple or, or not. Um, but I, I want to say I am being simple because it's not insane. I mean, this is like so much air right here. Like so much air is right here for no reason, so. You guys don't think this is simple, huh? Is it not simple enough? <laughs> I actually hope this decoration comes out to be pretty neat. This is going to be nice to make. Um, I don't think so. I mean, not in the long term. I think, I mean, compared to most of the other things I do, this is pretty nice. Wow, this is really, this is really neat. <laughs> Overshot we'll shot the landing a little bit. I mean, this is amazing. This panned out so well. <laughs> I'm happy with this. Oh man, that is, oh, that's so neat. <laughs> that is neat. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> What's not to like about this? Okay, okay, okay. I think the only thing we need to do now is see how it kind of works on the map. So... Let's grab
Okay, maybe I don't need it that big. Let's size it up twice. One, two. But you know. Okay, this map is actually looking really good. I'll have to put this in my offhand while I explore it, but that is... This actually came together way better than I planned. And it's not, like, super ridiculously expensive. I mean, it might be a bit expensive. I'll have to check out the actual cost here in a minute. But that is a very neat base design. It's semi-organic too. It's, I mean, as organic as you can get in Minecraft. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm really, really happy with this. This didn't take long to set up. Like two hours to get this where it is now. Three, maybe. Two and a half. And an hour of that was just setting up the shape. Yeah, let's check out the material list. It's three shulker boxes of blackstone, two shulker boxes of glowstone, two shulker boxes of glass, not that much iron, a few slabs, and that's it. So that is for nine hexagons, or seven, seven hexagons, fully built. And that is what that is. That's, and there's, there's, uh, there's nine, nine of these, I think. So let's grab, you want an actual schematic, so let's grab what the entire grid costs right now. I mean, I'm going to be fair about that. You want, you want this, you'll, you'll get this. For the entire build that is right now, it's probably going to be like 20 shulker boxes or so of material. So, seven hexagons are going to call it's it's mostly to waste glowstone if I'm being honest. I just want to find a reason to waste specific materials. And it just so happens that we have so much glowstone doing nothing. I could obviously farm prismarine and crystals so much easier than glowstone. I mean, if I didn't have this, if like we didn't, if Jay hadn't built the CCS raid farm, 
I don't think we'd have most of what we've got right now. Like, most of what we've got is thanks to him. This is um, a 7x7, seven seven, so this is 49 hexagon. Hexagonal sky grid. MK3. Save. Prototypes. Matic. This is a thousand chunks big right now. The size of this is 500 by 600, for 550 by 600. And that's just due to, that's just due to hexagons being a little not, you know, uniformical. One second.
All right, so what we have for Blackstone, we have one light on and I can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 12 of those grids. And I don't know how long I was muted for, for some reason, I just realized OBS was muted. Um, for Glowstone, we don't have a light on quite yet, but yeah, we've got this. So each almost five rows is gonna be what I need. So 10 boxes is gonna come down from this. And then if I head off to the raid farm, we've probably got so much there still too. Thread the needle. So for storage, we have sticks, glass, golden carrots. And lots of overflow in bottles. That's not that promising. Bottles overflowing? No. There's some glowstone there as well. Don't exactly know what's going on with this sorter, but something's broken and that's for sure. Um, yep, the glowstone, another three of those. So I could do three, guaranteed like I could do three of the, um, if not four, Maybe five, no four. I can do four of those hexagonal rings right now, so it's not super expensive, not yet. Um. Oh yeah, was there a was there a sorting issue? Is that what that was? And we never like went to throw things back through. Okay, I can throw these bottles back through. Then that's not a big deal. Now we probably ran out of shulker boxes. Oh, no, I actually remember the uh, the loader. We had a huge issue with the loader at one point. I don't know how well that actually loads. I want to throw these in a battle stack at a time. So can I just get back down there and like load this? Which one's the glass? Which one's bottles? Right here. That should be splitting between them. Yeah, there we go. That's 4x stacking those out. Those will be gone in a moment. So, okay, the calculations were 10 boxes of glowstone blocks per, and then 
All right, so that um, which means there's probably some glowstone down here still. Maybe yeah. Oh yeah, there's uh there's plenty of glowstone here. Look at that. Uh, Jay, I want to show you what, what we got for the uh, the uh, creative costs on this. Uh, do we have like, uh, oh yeah, we ran out of shulker boxes for one. Oh no, we did run out of shulker boxes completely. It was a nightmare. So the material list for this is, um, so this is 1300 chunks of space. And like ninety nine percent of that being air. What's the volume? This will tell me. It's a. Uh, oh, you got your good zone. So, okay, so. Five fifty. Times six o two times seven. Is this is 2.3 million blocks of space, but I only need 42 box, 42 boxes of material. Um, it is. I mean, what do you think of this so far? I mean, this is this is what I was going for. Uh, it's crazy. It might be. Uh, also, Jay, if you've got the time, can you get me a shader screenshot of this? I would love to see how this thing turns out on a uh, on shaders. Probably awesome, but. You know, I, I can't really check it right now. So, it'll actually lag me out really bad. Yeah, hang on. It looks even cooler when you give it some, uh, give it some stars behind it and stuff. Yeah, this is, I can't stop just mesmerizing. Like, this is just so cool. I'm thinking maybe the glowstone might be a bit much, and I could probably light up just the iron rings as well and leave those just lit, and the other ones could just be dark. But I don't know if that'll uh, give off that nice transparency I've got right here. But yeah, this is uh, this only took three hours to put together, and I'm really happy with it. Hexagons are not easy. For anybody that's ever played with hexagons in Minecraft, you know what I'm talking about. It is not easy to set them up. It's easy to figure out how you do them once you know what you're doing, but a 60 degree angle is an exact 45. Anybody can do an oct octagon, but pentagons and hexagons are some of the harder shapes to get through. Oh, wow. Okay, what is the next step for this, though? Because this is the start, and that's cool and all. But what's the next step if I want to add any detailing? What would it be? Hmm. I've used plenty of blackstone. I don't need to use any more of that. And I've used plenty of glowstone. I don't need to worry about it either. Jeez, that is amazing. Um, what materials do I have a choice of? That I have like lots of or could obtain lots of. I could obviously use basalt, any wood type right now. Um, I could do wood, but it might burn. Lightning strikes would likely hit this due to the height it is at. Um, could use obsidian. We have decent supply of that. Nether bricks aren't impossible, but they're too dark. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't even know if I want to change anything or add anything. I think this just looks good the way it is. What's going on? Hey, what's up? What do you think about this? It's pretty cool looking. It's actually only 42 shulker boxes of materials. For the thing. I mean, you see how big this is, right? 
Uh, so I, I think I found a good glowstone and blackstone sink, and I think you're looking at it. <laughs> we have so much of those materials and no use for them. I figured, figured I could waste them on this. Would you uh, care if I did that with the glowstone, or would you prefer me not use all glowstone for that, or even AFK the right for myself? Could do that too. Uh, we should probably shut that emerald sorter off at some point, though. I don't think we're at that point yet. No. You realize that once we get done making those emeralds for two million blocks, we're never going to need that farm again for that. Yeah, and okay. then we can turn it off. I see how it is. You got any uh, suggestions for this, though? I don't know what else I could do here. I think it looks good the way it is. <sighs> Super simple, not overcomplicated. Yeah, I mean, I think filling the middles of them would be a nightmare. Obviously. Oh, no, I wouldn't even think of that. Yeah. I mean, it would look really cool with glass, though. If you hated yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Do I hate myself or do you I? You usually oh, I do. do. Yeah, I do hate myself, don't I? Um, I was one. Actually, I think glass. usually you hate me. You're like, hey, you should do all the stuff that you don't want to do, but it would look cool, but... I would never do it. <laughs> yeah, like your floating island? Yeah. <laughs> that thing's looking great, by the way. What'd you uh, think of that chick warp, though? Just watching it go day night, day night on this thing? If you get below That's it, pretty cool. if you get below it, man, this is just. It's so mesmerizing to watch. Yeah, night with shaders on it looks better from above. Really? Looks like a hot like... wire. I checked that image out. Yeah. It looks like a, just a really hot glowing wire. Which is Fair neat, enough. Which is neat. Man, yeah, I, I mean, the, hmm. the stars don't really do much for it either, though. Could always put stars in it, you know. We're looking at a giant open space with no details put into it right now. Fifteen hundred MSPT, you know, not that bad. <laughs> I mean, I I do hate myself. Like I could fill this with glass, <laughs> but I don't I, think you understand. I love how the standard is self hatred. I don't think you understand how much glass that is, though. No, I uh, I do perfectly well. Understand. It's what? 550 times 602. How much do you really hate yourself, though? It's 331,000 glass. All right, let me, let me turn the shaders off for a second. Because they're distorting my view a little bit. That's almost 200 boxes of glass. You really think I want to go through with that? I'm actually not against it, to be honest, but but you have a worse idea, more self-hatred, what you got? Well, I think it's actually probably better than the glass. Okay. But worse than the glowstone. Worse than the glowstone? Shroom lights? Yeah. So this is all self-contained, right? What do you mean? Uh, if it were a liquid, yeah, it would be... Uh, a liquid would stay in there. Yes, it is self-contained, if that's what you're asking. A liquid light source would stay in you're there. You're talking lava. It would look darn cool. I'm actually not against that. Hang on, let me set up a command block real quick. <laughs> because it shows up in orange with the shaders on, but with the shaders off, like, it's just... I mean, it's still kind of orange, but it's like a dull orange... What are these white rings, anyways? Uh, those are just, like, scaffolding rings. They're more of just markers. Okay. I, I just kind of have them there right now, kind of. They're the center of the one hexagon thing. I, I kind of started pasting it, and it just kind of looked good having them around like that. I could do... A th okay, so 10. Okay, hang on. So there's last replace near 20 from glowstone to lava. Okay, so now execute at at P 
run replace near. Okay, so if you go near, you should be able to like a lighter fly around this, and the glowstone will be replaced in the lava. Unless it doesn't. Hang on. I actually don't hate myself that much, but you know. I mean, it's not that hard to collect all the lava. Packaging and moving it is quite a bit more difficult. I mean, this is 10 boxes of glowstone. Yeah. So 10 times 1728 is going to be 17,000. So 17... So It's just 64 times as many boxes, right? 1728, uh, 280, divided by 27. It'd be 640 boxes of lava. It would give the obsidian machine a final, you know, final hurrah, you know, something to do. Okay, that's not working, so. Um, technically, you, you've got two rows of glowstone, right? Mm-hmm. You only need one row of lava. You only need to put lava on the top. It would flow downward. 320, 320 boxes then. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, if you wanted to be cheap, you could, but you, then you'd end up with some weird flowing spots if you didn't fill it all the way up. So I, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. I'd probably recommend solid for the top. And then you just wouldn't have to include the bottom. That should I be can't... working for you. Let me know if it's working for you. You should be yeah. able to stand near glowstone now. It's your turn to lava. I don't think it likes the at P selector. It's not. Yeah, use a player name. Make one for each of us, I guess. I think app he implies that somebody's pushing the button or something like that. Execute app player. It's not doing anything. I just said it for you. Okay, it's still not doing anything. Lava replace glowstone. Uh, oh, well, I might want to add some negatives in here. Try that. Oh, it's just a single block. Hang on. That should be you, and this should be. It's not. Hang it's on. not doing anything. No, I, I'm still setting up the command box. There you go. Okay. Uh, nothing. Gotta make sure you're within the world, though. This is be working for you. Is it repeat? It, did you put it on repeat? Yeah, it's on. It's on repeat. You gotta it be looks with, like it only ran once. You got to be within the world. You got to be underneath it. Oh. Yeah, out of the world. Oh, this is much. a world height. Yeah, this is two fifty. So you're standing on top of this is two fifty three. You be beneath. Oh, okay. Got to be beneath it for it to work. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how you have love in space, but you know. It's not really important as the light source. It's like how cool it looks. I mean, it might not be the right way to go, but it's worth looking at, right? Right. Hang on, I'm gonna make this a lot easier. I don't need command blocks. I was just more doing that because I could. Um, this is gonna lag a little bit. Replace near 250. I'm not doing a whole lot. Yeah, so let's replace near. I want to make sure I get the syntax right. Okay, uh, so just for the record, right now you can actually see the difference between the two. Well, too bad. I'm just doing a whole huge heck of it. All right. 10,000 blocks changed. That should be a lot. Uh-oh, we, we got lava blowing out the edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's not contained over there, but... That's a thing. Yeah. Oh, it's on you. Yeah, I'll turn it back in a second. What do you think? I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I wanted no? I wanted the lava I wanted the lights to be red and now they're kinda of like a bright tinge orange. Mm. So yeah, I'm not I'm not super huge on that. It's not a bad idea. What, I do hate myself. What about making the glass orange? 
Uh, it wouldn't change. I wanted the glowstone and the red to mix. It just creates the right color. Yeah. Oddly enough, it just... It's it not just red doesn't. now, though. Well, now I gotta un undo what you did, so... Or what we did, I guess. Oh, turn off those command box, too. Yeah, I'm gonna break those and then... But, like, I can see the... Glow there's still parts where there's glowstone, and they're, they're not really red. They're more red when you're far further away from them than you are. Yeah. <laughs> still a good I like idea. the lava flowing on the edges. Yeah. Lava glowstone. Might lag for a moment, but it should fix itself. Uh, if you still see any of the lava, let me know. I should have gotten rid of most of it. Yeah, I don't see any. I'll be back in a minute. All right. I want to do more with this, but I just don't know what to do. Hey, what's going on, Shady? I'm working on a world edit thing right now, trying to see what else I want to do with this. And so far, we got this. <laughs> uh... All right, I'm back. Back. Yeah, I don't know what else I want to do here. Like, it just seems so... Uh, I want to just put this all over my base. So I want to just cover the entire sky with this. That That's it. Just an entire sky of this. This is a idea I had from Geostorm. I've actually wanted to do this for, like, a really long time. So this is, like, looking really good. I like, I like how this panned out. I'm not gonna lie, this is, like, not that bad. Yeah, so that's at world height, and still got that command, Jay, or the uh, the the Imgur. If you can, uh, yeah. Can you it's... repaste it just so he can look at the shader version of that? Yeah. So so far it looks pretty good. Why does it keep pinging me that I'm streaming? You need to know that you're streaming. No, 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 the, uh, I've, I've gotten five pings in creator content, and it's just, oh. what? Yeah, this is a. Uh... Yeah, shaders make that thing look great. Um, right now, we're trying to figure out if I hate my life enough if I want to add two hundred choker boxes or glass to this. I mean, actually, it would make it like two hundred and two blocks of glass if I did that. I have room here. I could. I could do a hexagonal dome underneath each one of these. I couldn't do it above them, but I could do it below. Oh dear. Hmm? Now, I don't recommend you fill them. No, I don't think so either. I think it's pretty cool the way it is. I just feel like it's not enough. It's just so simple. But maybe that's a good thing. I feel like It just feels like more could be here. It's just so much empty space. That's kind of the idea with it. Okay, fine. I've got something else I wanted to start building with this too while I'm sitting here. 
and that is I want to build a rocket ship that goes up into this. So I'm going to see if I can generate I should be able to use my um, He's team all expensive. Uh, I don't hit my life enough to do that to myself, though. I just... Okay, this is a vertical cylinder. So, G... Uh, hang on, so it's not six. Outset, um, 20. Uh, and next thing I'm going to outset that again and again. So, X, so slash generate. Um, white concrete. Actually, we want to make sure this is hollow and centered. Hollow center. Uh, white concrete. Uh, it's going to be x squared plus z squared. It's greater than, I want to do uh, 7.2 squared. When I killed myself, it said I was sent to Davy Jones. <laughs> uh okay. Um uh, yeah, that <laughs> seems like a good uh, rocket too, but still on pirate from that stream the other day. Eight point I could do a eight. And for no other reason whatsoever. Four. Speaking of which, that is ready to upload. And uh nine point <sighs> six. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I kinda like the nine point six thickness. And then I wanna give it the seven point two on the inside. Oh yeah, that looks good. Uh, what about a seven point what about a seven point six? Yes. That looks good. Okay, that's good right there. Ooh, I might want to do like a 9.5 though. I'm going to get that flat wall right there. Okay, that looks good. And then we could do the 7.6 right here. Yeah, okay, that looks good. That could be filled with fuel of whatever I wanted. And now I've got to create a cone. Um, this is a sharp arched cylinder. I need to create that parachute shape again. Okay, this is a cone. Okay, I'm going to take that away from here. That lava is still flowing down, by the way. <laughs> Maybe that should be part of the design. You just got lava streams flowing down the sides. I don't know, man. That might be a little weird. I don't know the meaning of the word. Yeah, you don't, do you? Nope. Let's do it outset on 20. And then uh, let's do it again. And then in order to create a cylinder or a cone, I want to do... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Did you see that thumbnail I sent? Yeah, that's the, great. Our... Dude, this is so great. <laughs> it's so darkish, but it's so great. I'm uploading the video now. Ah, okay, it is it is this. These two, these two sheets. Sorry guys, I've got like a bunch of world edit notes in front of me. I've been taking notes on very specific things from World Edit. Uh, okay, so I need to... Um, generate... Hollow center... Of white concrete... Radius squared equals... 
x squared plus z squared colon written of this one y plus equals r slash half y greater than zero. R is not bound. Oh. I need to do R equals square root x squared plus z squared. Cool, that's doing what I want, just not up above. Probably want to copy this. No. Control C. No, actually, that looks right, so it'd be. Um, Have the radius, square root. Oh, I want to also make an addendum here for 10. I hope that didn't do me any good. I'm really confused as to what caused lag on our creative server when nobody was on it. That's so weird. I don't get why they're complaining. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's looking good. All right, I need to stretch that. That's good to start. So let's move that up to I... 20. Okay, there we go. There's a nice little cone. And then we need to divide this by three. Now we need to divide this by Five. Ooh, there we go. Folks, we have a nose cone. <laughs> Let me move this thirty. Oh yeah, hello. Oh, that's a cone. A nice little rocket ship going, eh? Okay, so now I can just grab what I want off this. Oh, it's taking that. Hello. What? Nothing. I'm just being me. I hope you didn't mind me setting it to noon. It was a little dark. <laughs> a little dark for you, huh? Yeah. Just a little. Have the shaders on again. Oh, okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. That should be. What are you making now? Rocket ship. Oh. <laughs> and then shoop. We should probably brown the tip then. Oh, it's fine for now. I'll make a sharper one for it here in a minute. But you don't like it? Okay, hang on, I can, uh... Actually, yeah. Uh, I can make it 0.25 and make it very... A good model bigger. would probably be the Saturn V. Yeah. That one, like, tapers several times. But it's a cool-looking rocket.
What do you mean that it tapers multiple times? I don't like it. What do you mean by that? Uh, have you never seen the Saturn V? I don't really watch rockets much, so I'm asking what you mean by it. It's the rocket ship that landed on the moon. Oh. I knew what that was, but I don't know what you mean by it. It tapers several times. It's it. Oh, so it. it... Explain it to me oh, like no, I'm wait. an idiot. Oh, wait. All right. I'm going to show you in diorite. So it comes in. And then it goes up. Yeah. And then it comes in. And then it goes up. Why do I keep? It keeps taking me out of flying. Um, it actually comes in, goes up, and then it comes in at a really slow angle, like this. That's a very pointy tip. Uh huh. <laughs> I kind of like that though. It looks like a giant it's crayon. I was in there trying to show you something. <laughs> You're taking notes on my notes. All right. I mean, you probably wouldn't want it to look exactly like the Saturn V, but it's a good model. It's a good starting point. I like how pointy my sharp crayon is. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it to look like a Minecraft, Minecraft firework rocket, you've succeeded. <laughs> I could completely clown this if I really wanted to. Okay. Just wear red and white stripes and you're done. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then I could give it like a little fuse as it's flying like a and, cartoon. And you, basi you basically got a, a tango firework shop right there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, dear. It actually looks really good though aside. Okay, hang on, so we were doing this on the 30. So this is what you want. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. They combined. What? That's two rocket tips together. Look at that. Oh, that's neat. That's actually really... That's a neat point. Yes. <laughs> Does that qualify as a better... <laughs> it qualify? Do you like it's that? Better. <laughs> it's better. It's <laughs> better. Yeah. Hang on, I could also probably stack a 33 on this. Uh, point three three, on top of a thirty five. I didn't change much at all. Hmm. Might have to put that at forty. There you go. What do you think about that? It's a thing. It's a thing. Do you like... Yeah. So, do you like this one better? Or this one? Oh, this one's definitely more interesting. This one? Or this one? Oh, what? Watch it. Stay very close to it, okay? Yeah, I'm looking this right at it. This one? Or this one? The first one. So, you like this one Dude, that glass ring in the distance looks awesome with shaders on oh yeah it does <laughs> i can actually see it now you know earlier i was like where is everything yeah yeah so okay we could do that okay now i can make you a little happier to where you can hear where's the schematic And I've got all these inside, like, oh, so many different things in here that I don't want. Oh, it's on my stupid laptop. Shoot. Now i got to figure out how to get rid of all the air blocks inside here that I don't want. I've got, like, 52 different types of cones in here. There's four layers of cones in here, no big deal. You know, like four rings inside the rings. <laughs> <sighs> what 
What? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not laughing at you. Uh-huh. Because you're not funny. You're not laughing at my misery? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I don't even care about your miseries. It's strange. No, you are like that. No, you know the animation at the end of my video? Mm-hmm. I changed the skin. Oh, like, no. I re-rendered re it with the new skin. <laughs> this is funny as heck. Yeah. Oh, man. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. What's going on, Leonard? I need to run down and get my laptop because the only t uh, schematic I have for that uh, thing is down on my laptop. Oh, the rocket ship? Oh. Want... Yeah, for the rocket ship. What? Why would I have a schematic for a rocket ship? Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, space training hall. Oh, I have a scan. No, yeah, I have a schematic for that. Do you need a schematic for that? I don't know if I have. I should have it. We built it together. Yeah, you should have it. Yeah. No matter yeah, where. no. I, the the farm that I built in my episode, I would need to link the schematic in the description. I'm I'm uploading the video right now. I need to go get the actual schematic for it because I did it on my laptop. I will probably so right also back. end the stream once you get that video up for a bit. Okay. Of all the people I made this stream for, it didn't end up being capable of showing up today. It's, uh, what, a Tuesday? Yeah, it's a Tuesday. I don't know if I even want to fix this. Like, I'm thinking about it, and I just don't know if I even care to fix it. I might just do something like this. Rocket might actually be the cutest thing I've made. Always take schematics to your schematics because you never know when you're going to want that. How much better is this one? Where'd you go? Where did you go? There you go. 550,000 per hour, that's ridiculous. All right. Don't quite fit no more. Kind of like way too big on the base of this. This episode is so late. Uh, 
better late than never. If it's out by two, I won't yeah. really care. I mean, but it's out today at least. That clip that you were hesitant about? Mm hmm I added some um some like doom and gloom background music. Ooh. Yeah. Basically like a like a Halloween creepy sound in the background. That might be interesting. Yeah, I think it really emphasizes the point quite a lot. It's real subtle. You know, I mean, it's not super. I mean, you know that it's there, but it's not like overwhelming or anything like that. It's just like it. Uh, it really hits the point. I think pretty darn well. That is a better looking. It's kind of neat watching this thing print. Cool thing about printer mode is it uh, does not care if it's uh, rendered or not. Like if you can't see it or not, it'll still try to do it. Kind of neat watching that, though. What do you think of that? I don't think the rocket's tall enough for that now. I think what was interesting is while it was printing, some of the sections here were missing, and it looked really cool that way. Is this something you can reprint? What do you mean, like, do it again? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is this material? More concrete. Oh, okay. It's just reflecting light really strangely with the shaders. It shouldn't be reflecting light at all. Concrete ain't shiny. I know, but that's why I was... Why do you think I was confused, man? You know the reason it has all those, like, levels in it is because it's got four different cones printed inside of each other. Yeah, but it looked really cool. Do you, you kind of... The Swiss cheese effect? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, there was something about it that just looked really cool. I could always go steampunk with Rocket and make it look like it's been assembled by hand. <laughs> look like it's going to fall apart any minute. I don't know, something about that just kind of works for me. Like add a little detail or something like that. And... Cosby and Gonzal are two really active people in their worlds. Have you seen the stuff they're working on? Yeah. It's insane. But do you see how that cross section looks kind of interesting? It had some strange but interesting details. Hmm. Well, what can I do with it then? Do that along. Do that along four sides. Do what you did right there and just chop everything off like you did. I'm just chopping it off right at the uh, actual thing itself. This might be a happy accident. It's just one of those accidental things. You get rid of everything up at the top of it? Yeah. Yeah. Tail. Also, I call this the honeycomb sky grid. Obviously, that makes perfect sense. Yes, yeah, so, I don't know. You could like add little no, no, details no, no, or no, something no, like don't, that. Don't do anything yet. Hang on. I got an idea for a couple of those. Hang on. I'll around some of the saddle. Yeah, it doesn't bit. work. I'll run around the saddle a little bit. Hang on. Get rid of some of the yeah, switch cheese. Nice. Hang on. I'm not really much of a builder, but I like the way. <laughs> It's kind of, that looks, ooh, okay, hang on, so what if we have, maybe if you hang on, no, 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 hang on, this out. hang on, so black stained glass, if we make this part of the window, right there, check that out, check this out over here, yeah, here, uh, I think this might look at least a little bit better, yeah, I like that a little bit, and possibly, 
I'm gonna get this glass put on the side somewhere. This is gonna be a very symmetrical rocket, and I really don't care until we get the boosters and stuff put in here. But I want people to be able to see out of every side of this. You know, in space, you really don't have anything else but you and your senses. And no one can hear your scream. Well, that too. But we're always gonna go that route. <laughs> There's some sort of detail that it needs around these little, uh... Hang on, I'm working on that. Don't worry about those. I'm, I'm gonna let that come to yeah. me. But I see what you're saying with that. I was actually thinking of, like... I'm gonna use diorite just because it's the widest wall we've got, but I was thinking of just hanging something off like this. Let's just do that. Actually, that doesn't even look that bad. The diorite hanging there. This feels like a wizard or something right now. And then you feel like a... This actually isn't a bad design so far. Yeah, all this kind of helps the cone blend into the actual rocket itself in a more I don't want to blend natural. the corners, though, so don't blend the corners. I want that overhang there intentional. Yeah, I would. That's part of... I think that's too... I think there. that's too much on that side. Yeah. Yeah, it's popping it out into... Actually, uh... That's actually not bad. Okay, hang on. I want to see about... Here. There's also this option where this one row isn't there. Sorry? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is not having that extra bit there. Yeah. And I want to fill this in with... Yeah, I was going to say you could also... Here, I think this one should stay... Yeah. There you go. I'm going to get some color going in here. And we can make this a mushroom rocket. It'd be funny. It already looks like a booty. smurf. It's starting to look like a gnome, though. Like, I see this as like a giant garden gnome. <laughs> right. um, blue cement here. And now we have a wizard hat. <laughs> I'm, I can't take this build seriously. Yeah. My blue might not be the color here. Maybe black, gray. I was trying to add color though. I think the blue is okay. Good looking wall o' bricks o' oh rock o' oh black. That's what? a big name. Yeah. You must have really had oh, fun I making can't, that. I can't build any higher? This is build limit? No, this is a build limit. Why can't I? Oh, I see. Oh, this is a two by two, first of all. Ah. Uh. Because uh, I was trying, I was going to try and make a little. A little spire? Yeah. I was going to make it out of Blackstone. This space brick. I wonder, can you even fit through this? Can we get through here? Nope. Darn. Actually, okay, you want that to be, what, Blackstone brick? Yeah, something like that. It may not work, but that's what I was testing. Uh, where did this guy's? I'm cool with that.
could do that up until there and leave it alone and not overcomplicate the code. Gray cloth, gray ancient clay, gray cement. Not the gray cement. Gray cement. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to search for it as what it is in the power language though? I think so. Oh my goodness. And by the way, it says search for your booty when I <laughs> open the creative thing. <laughs> the pirate language is spectacular. Oh, I was. Uh, I just saw uh, one of uh, Mango's vids, and um, the cat gifting farm seems like something we should do. Yeah. Yeah, you get phantom membranes and rabbit feet from the same farm. That's pretty cool. They give us two potion brewing materials out of the same thing. Everything else can kind of just get yeeted, but um, I think it was seven hundred cats and seven hundred minecarts. So lots of those. You know, this little tongue on the side of this is kind of funny. What do you think of that tree farm? Um, I don't know. Uh, the one you re reference is that the one you want to build on Patreon? Yeah. How much slime do we need? That's a real question. Uh, like eight. Oh, that actually should be that actually be uh manageable. Yeah. We also have a bone farm now. I worked really yeah. hard on that. And it's just a single, like, the, the tree grows, and then it gets blown up. It's a real simple one. Like, 100% of that whatever you grow gets blown? Like, there's nothing backlogged? Yeah. Oh, neat. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just a simple starting farm, uh, oak and uh, birch only. And okay. you, grow, you grow the tree, and then you wait for it to blow up, and then you plant another one. It's, it's slow. But it's a, it's a good it's a decent starter farm I think. I'm also thinking that if I make this, I could have my space station above it. But at this point, I'm thinking I might actually get rid of the space station. I think it's a great build, but I don't think it has the details I want. Yeah, for anybody that's not seen this, this is what this uh. Why does that not have water in it? That's interesting. There we go. It's interesting that it doesn't have water in it. Those gray lines help, I think. Sorry, I'm busy fixing a weird issue in my tunnel. Did I do water run or something? It's over here too. What's going on here? It does not look like a rocket. That's funny. It might still go with it though. Yeah. Well, there's no thrusters. That's probably a big part of it. Yeah, I wanted to get the shape done first. It looks like a, a wizard tower, kind of. <laughs> a space wizard tower. A flying wizard. No, I was just going to fight the hmm? space dragons. The space dragons, huh? Yeah. I'm also not 100% sure what I want to do with that. I was thinking that maybe we could have a twist of that on the end. You know. Just a what? Just a, just build that, but theme it for the end. Think about it. 
I'm always wanting to build something in the end, you know. We never do anything there anymore. The last thing that's been built there is a tree farm, but that's like the next last thing besides a honey farm, and then what, the rail cannon was before that? Oh, I guess you've done chicken farm, tree farm, that. But I've not really had like an end project, so. This inner ring. Hmm? If you scrap this entire project, you need to use this inner ring for something. Inner ring of what? Oh, the entire station? Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, it's it's one of the best parts of this. It might be the sole survivor of this entire project. I'm also not hating it. Like, I don't hate the design. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what I can do to make it better, more or less. Yeah, this inner ring, this walkway ring, mm -hmm. it looks fantastic. Yeah, it's one of the best parts of this entire thing. And it should be kept. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, working on making that into a plasma ring. I was thinking about making the inside of the, that giant thick one into a plasma ring and having like balls of plasma flying around it. I think that would really bring it out. What about underwater? Mm hmm. Putting that ring underwater. I don't know why I'd do that. I don't know either. Because it would look cool. True, about 90% of why I do most of what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I was working on a new globe ball for it The uh, over here. I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna teleport. This is the new sun I wanna make. You probably won't be able to see anything discernible with it until you get in the middle of it, though. You've got shaders on. You might actually be able to see it. I just turned them off to. I'm on look at that ring, but where? Just teleport. Yeah, this is the new sun. Tell me if you've seen any differences. Oh, it's like randomized. Mm hmm. That looks nice. And then it's got the red glass panes that were against the walls. I got rid of those. The water actually prevented the shaders from making it look good. So I got only mm. three layers of glass in here instead of the five that I had before. Or four. Maybe I had four. And you cut one of these things open, though. It looks like a giant gobstopper. I, uh, I love the inside of this. This is awesome. You need a way to get in here. You could hide things in here. Yeah. Inside the sun? Have, One, have you been inside? Two, have you gone three, in spectator mode four. into the middle of it? Yeah, I had five layers of glass. So, yeah, I, I I actually made that first. I made the inside first before I made the outside. Yeah, it looks really cool. And it might be like you could get in from the bottom, so it's like have some hidden way in. Maybe. And have it be like a hidden room. Yeah, well, now that you're already thinking about it, it's no longer hidden. Two thirds yeah. of the server knows Wait. what it is. You could, you could also do like talking head clips. From inside of there? Yeah, that could be. Where you're fun. talking to the camera and <laughs> in, in uh where you're looking second person mode. Yeah, this is this is still one of the best parts to what I've created so far with the world at it. I still like this a lot. I'm not against building it. I just wanna get a few more details ironed out because most of it's still I'm not against the empty space. The empty space is fine, but it's like like this tube over here has no life to it. And then when I world edit stuff on top of each other, I can't like, like this just kind of raises into it and drives me a little insane. I could probably get, what's the radius of this? Oh, those concrete, hang on, I got an idea. I think those were 16, so I'm gonna do a 12. I need to load up my world edit notepad. Hang on. I finally started saving some of my commands that I've been learning. Every time I use something new, I throw it into uh, 
notepad, so I should probably grab this. that okay grab a sphere command I can generate this right here I want to do blue stained glass I'm gonna get this command from there and I want to make this uh Let's do an 8.6. Oh. Now it's at 20. And then I want to do... Come tell me what you think of this for a plasma ball. Hey, Hamza, what's going on? Hey, Carms. That's kind of cool. Yay. Yeah, I'm doing a word of today. Um, I think that's a good plasma ball. Um, some manual details could be good. I want to send this and make it look like it's flying through the machine, so... I probably want to create that cone. Upload schematic. I want to get this cone here. Create a cone. A much smaller cone. Uh, let's get... Signs. Um, Twitch decided to crash today, so I don't want to deal with Twitch. Um, and YouTube also has a lot less latency, so you guys get to see the video a lot quicker, and it's more uh, real time. So a cone here, I'm going to make it a... Uh, I want to make this like a 1-5. Like something really... 
Let me not agree to this. Oh, yeah. Now I just need to give this um, curve. How would I go about warping this? Okay, what if I also do X plus equals R divided by point five. Where'd it go? So that doesn't do anything on the expectation was minimal there. I want to give this um, Yeah, YouTube seems to know what they're doing. YouTube also automatically adjusts what I'm doing to you guys. Um, yeah, that's bad. 2.25. I like this one better. Yeah, uh, one second, Hamza. I will show you what we've been working on today. Thanks to Jay, we've got a little bit of neat things done here. Uh, man, I woke up so tired this morning. I'm not used to being up this early. I usually go to bed like super late and get up like, su like super late, so. My time schedule is like, like I'm from Australia almost, as compared to most people here. Okay, so that should be everything taken care. This is probably not gonna do what I want it to do. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take a smack of this. Uh, this is Fireball. Fireball Tail, MK1. I can then save the file. That's good. Um, so I should be able to set blocks in the spots it's marking here. I have no idea if I'll even be able to curve this tail up at one. So that'll really be like really hard to get done. So um copy rotate zero ninety zero. Where does it paste it about? So it's like way weird. So there it is. You might be able to like line this up perfectly. Hang on. See right about there. Ooh, close. Close. What are you trying to do here? I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to make a comment, kind of. Ah. Uh. But I want to get this like okay. So the idea is that I'm gonna have like an arc reactor inside this thing. So you know those big giant white tubes that you told me I should probably get rid of. I'm turning it into a plasma uh. reactor. All right. Uh, I don't think that's quite centered. I think you need it one block lower. Oh, and you one help. block to the left. Okay, let me uh, let me grab what center is here. 
You'll be able to help me line this up a little bit better. I do 10. Paste. What do you think? How many blocks more? Four. I'm going to go up four. That's right. How's that? Oh, I, oh, you're not even over here. Oh, that's nice. No. Oh, there we go. That's that's centered. There we go. That's centered. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this block. I'm gonna get rid of that block. And I just need to contort this as it's flying through the thing. So. We do to curve center shown turn curve. There's not gonna be a curve. I could use the deform expression. Well, I'm trying to make it look like yeah, it does look like a scone, like a really pretty purple scone. Um There is curve. No, I might want to give it like white concrete. Convex polyhedral selections. Okay. Did you ever get us that those spruce saplings from Carms? You probably didn't, did you? No, I haven't been on since we talked about it. No. Yeah, I didn't figure you would. Sorry, I just. I just wanted. I've been doing other things. No, I, no, I, no. I, I, was, I was, I was like joking when I'm like, hey, go do that. I could. I just wanted to make sure that you hadn't, because like it would make sense to do it myself if you had already done it. Did you, did you use up all the iron though? So we don't have any iron we've to got, trade in. Oh no, we've got a few stacks, and the farm was working last checked. In the what? We've got we've got a few stacks. Don't worry. There's only one stack down there. There's two stacks in the chest, in our smelting chest. Oh, in our smelting chest. Ooh, that's a neat shape, but that's not exactly what I was going for. Yikes. Um, I need to rotate on the Z. So I need to get... In, in where? In the... Uh, the, the simple smelters we had. Oh. Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, 
That is looking really cool. That might fit too. I'm hoping. Oh wow, this the way this actually scattered the blocks in here. Actually might be beneficial. There's this random dirt in here, I don't understand, but you know. Yeah, so uh grab iron axe brush. So I could use this to, you know what am I trying to do? I'm trying to replace, um, okay, so I can set um, let's go, uh, set, and then hang on, and, and I got notes here to mix this, one second, I'll be back. Right, so, um, okay, so this is what I've got, and I want to replace, I want to do 15%, um, purple glass, I want to do 15% purple glass, purple stained glass pane. Purple, that uh, ocean monument is stupid close to our base. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I saw that thing. Yeah, it's like right next to our base, basically. Yeah. Um, I was for a moment there, uh, Hamza. I was moment muted for a moment. That's thirty percent purple stained glass. Thirty percent purple. I could do another fifteen percent. Do uh magenta stained glass? Magenta, yeah, magenta stained glass. Possibly also blue? Hang on, uh fifteen percent magenta stained glass pain. Yeah, one last color for 10% paint. 
Uh, got blue magenta purple. Red. Uh, maybe. It's actually too many words and letters in the command. Oh, really? Yeah. Silly Minecraft and its limitations. Hi there, Enderman. Don't know, we gotta regenerate that shape a little bit. Yikes. Um. Mr. Creeper, not so nice to see you. Well, it might be a future base or I might scrap it. I don't know quite yet. I just enjoy working on it. Remember when we didn't have a mob switch in our vanilla server? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I need to, um, I need to copy this. This is why you leave your blocks in your template. Okay, I need to, I need to do that again, but I need to, that actually might work way better than I expected. Oh, I need to, I need to copy that within reason, uh, within range. What is that madness? It's beautiful is what it is. Oh, I see. You're trying to make a... Flaming tail, yeah. Rotate 90, zero, zero. Or no, rotate zero, 90, zero. I do not care about the interpolation. Do we have any bird saplings? No. Where are you pasting to? Where are you? Why are you... I do not understand why it's doing this. Use the world edit long enough to know that I can do these things right. So one, block two, copy. A thousand blocks affected. Can I paste it here?
Okay, why not? All right, well, I got a bird sapling. Zero blocks affected zero. I probably got it because this global mask is on, right? Let me guess. Okay, there we go. I had my mask on. And I can rotate. It's important to wear masks. It's a pandemic, man. Rotate 90. <laughs> rotate 45. Okay, we've got that one. What? Come in, I want to see. I want to set red stained glass pane. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, not that. <laughs> you got your normal skin on? Yeah. Do you need me to do anything over there? Uh, I'm way too far away. What are you doing out there? I was riding in a boat, and a trident drowned just Popped back it. to my boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. I forgot that that's a thing that could happen. So I just gotta copy that. And I just know I gotta figure out where I'm going to be able to paste this in. So um, I've got to destroy. I've got to actually set up a new sphere for this. I should have just gone to Carms. I was trying to be greedy and find my own spruce saplings. You hear that, Carm? Jay wanted to do it himself. Yeah, I didn't want to make a deal. I'm greedy. I want to keep it all for myself and share none of it. Okay, I need to get the spear in here. Hopefully it's still in here. Okay, a seven on glowstone. 12 and a half on purple, 10.2. Blue, okay. I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna go into this here section. V. 8.6. Sorry, I'm just copying my command so I don't have to do it the other way around. There we go. Oh, you know, that G mask is still on. There's the glowstone. Blue glass. 
magenta glass. Purple glass. Oh. Ooh, can I just kind of stand like right here? Pop that on there. Oh. Okay, nope. More of right here. I can always regenerate the sphere. Oh, I could I could actually just do that. Okay, hang on, I could just do a paste. And I could figure out where the center of this is, somewhere like maybe right about here. Math, 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 math. Do shiny bits. You still have a crafting table on me. It's 20. And now I can just do the glowstone. I could do blue, magenta, purple. Um, I'm actually not upset with that. That actually looks really good. <laughs> but uh, sadly, I am going to try and get that a little bit. A little bit more centered because that is way too uh way too big so let's uh try to get something like right here holy hold on scare you huh my dog uh might be an amazon delivery or something yeah that's better Oh my gosh, that is actually really, really good. You see what I made, man? What? No. You see this thing? Oh yeah, yeah, I did see it. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty cool. For world edit, you can do so many things. It needs a more natural curve between the tail and the actual. Yeah, itself. I don't know how to do that with with world edit. So, I could probably gen. Oh, oh, I could generate. I know I don't how to. Think you would do it with that world edit. You can. I just thought of it. I think. Hang on. I gotta pull up some notes, but I think I could do it. So there's a command for arch cylinders, which I used. Remember the uh, old uh, blue ones that I had connecting the suns? That's an arch cylinder. So if I just add the arch cone command to it, boom. So that means. That's at 20. We'll go outset uh, four more. This should be at 29, 29. It's 49, 49. Um, it's at 10. 29, 29. Okay, there we go. If I use this. But instead. This is the command I've got to start with. And then I'm also going to R squared. All right. Uh, what's the, <laughs> the, 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 the math, math, math. Um, y plus equals R divided by 0.5. That should do that. On top of, I want this to be white concrete. Then R is not bound, which means R 
r equals the square root of x squared z squared Okay, I've got too many variables in this. We've got five different things going on here, so I need to delete. I don't need this to change, so I'm gonna try and just. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna copy that command because I have no idea what I just did. Look what I just made, that's the way shape. Okay, that's not what I want. So that that's start. That's a start. Okay, so I want to arch the cylinder. So what that means is this command can go. Okay, that's a cone still, so that's not great. Uh, Raise square divided by that. Okay, we've got to figure this out. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, I see. That one just creates a giant platform of nothing. So what if we, okay, what if instead, Okay, what if, uh, okay, so, so let's generate, do, uh, let's see, HC, uh, white concrete, all right, it goes to square root, x squared, let's see squared. Y plus equals uh, I. And then we gotta add the command from the last one, which was Oh, did I mute myself? Yeah, apparently. I muted you on Discord, sorry. I I was hitting delete now and stuff. Um, oh. plus, plus this. Hit some global hotkeys. Yeah, I need to fix that. Um, so then the next thing I need to do, because I've got the, the height spiral, I need to use this. So now this is the last piece, and I've got to figure out how to... I've got to have the radius squared. So why not just that? And I made a giant stick. <clears throat> so that's not... Let's try a 180. So we're not bending anything, that's bad. 
So let's just start with this. This is I like your giant stick. You had to say that, didn't you? That came out wrong. Or did it? I did not mean for it to come out that way, honestly. Uh, minus 50, I don't need this in here. Uh, I just found four pumpkins in a pirate uh, shipwreck. So that's a basic cylinder that's been curved downwards. So now so. I have pumpkins. We have pumpkins, dude. Nice. So instead, what if we do x plus equals? Okay, so you don't like the fact if I use x, oh no, I have to figure out how to uh curve that is going to be difficult. It's possible, but it's going to be difficult. I can always just offset it slice by slice as necessary within Lightmatica. So. All right, let's see what we I can... would do it by hand, personally. I don't think I want to do that kind of thing by hand. Suit yourself. Building that by hand might not be the way I'd like to go about it. Might be the way to go. It really might be. And it might also fit in here without any of that. Maybe we don't do it. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a lot longer than I expected. Mining fatigue is called scurvy. Scurvy? Yeah, I've got scurvy three. There's actually a lot of room in here for this. That the curve doesn't need to be put in there. Scary indeed. I'm sorry. I might actually need a bigger tube with what I've got here. You always need a bigger tube. So that glass is going to pop out on one side or the other. Oh, well, let's just see how this looks. I mean, that doesn't fit, but that's okay. I mean, that definitely adds some characteristic that wasn't here before. Hmm. All right, well, I think I'm okay with that for right now. I'm going to show this off one more time and then I think I'm going to end the stream, guys. It's been a good stream. Got a lot done in this. A lot more than I expected to. But just to give you guys one more thing to gander at again.
You really feel encaged in this thing, though. It's cool looking, though. Yeah, I'm not mad about this at all. It didn't take long to get that done. It's so mesmerizingly beautiful. I want to have a mega build done by March, the end of March, so I'm trying to get that in for the uh, the world download. So I want this done. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this very much. I will see you guys in the next stream, hopefully back on Twitch tomorrow.